Hi guys, so it's about that time um, where we, uh, Dr. Satyaram Narayan and myself are going to be doing um, the Read to Me TT Bedtime series and uh, we are just going to wait a couple of minutes to allow people to come on. Um, so if you have your kids at your side and you're snuggled up in bed, um, covers, I have my, my favorite cover that I actually go, um, every time I had on call in the hospital, I would use this cover because, you know, sometimes the cover is very comforting and the smell of home and all of that. So I'm covered up, not in bed, but I'm covered up. And um, we're just going to wait for Dr. Sati Ramnarayan to come on. And we're going to share with you um, a bedtime story. So for your kids, or even if as adults you like stories, or you like um, you know locally written stories, of which this is one, um, then you know you would enjoy this. Hello from London. Hi. It's nice that we have everybody logged in from across the world. And I'm just waiting for Dr. Ram Narayan. Hi, Victoria. So for all my Dr. Bree babies, I hope that you have them tucked in and you're letting them listen to my voice um, because I know that they know the voice from being inside of you all those months that we did visits. So I hope that the uh, eyes are picking up when they hear the voice. And I'm going to try to do my kitty voice um, because, of course, this is a story, story time. Um, and I remember when my mom used to read to me and she used to do like all the characters, she used to do different voices. So it was extremely entertaining. I remember when I was younger, I just looked forward to those sessions because um, she would read to me and she would do like the witch character. So she'd go, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like those kinds of things. But uh, I can't do it well. But she had a way of doing it that was, I always used to look forward to it. So... Dr. Ram Narayan, Paige and Dr. Ram Narayan. So we're just going to wait for a couple of minutes, wait for you to come on. I hope your kids are up. Um, I mean, it's just only 8 o'clock and we're just doing this for about 30 minutes. So I'm sure hopefully we could put them to bed for you um, with our soothing voices. And Dr. Ram Narayan and I, we like, uh, I think people get us confused sometimes because we sometimes have the same, um, the same voice or tone. So like she would call and my mom would think it's me. So, you know, I hope that we entertain you um, and your kids and uh, we're gonna start in just about a minute or two. So I'm just waiting for her to join. So we taught her how to join. So you go down to those two faces to the right and um, she will log on with me soon. Yeah, my mom used to read to me and I just miss those days. I really miss those days, you know, you can't go back. Um, but you can only have the memories and I think all of us probably have those nice memories of storytelling and story time and that will always stay, you know, embedded in our minds and in our hearts and all of that. And those are the memories that we really, um, take with us, you know, so that is what it's about. So I don't know where Dr. Ramnarine is. Are you a doctor as well? My mom never read. Are you a doctor as well? Yes, I am a doctor. Um, and, uh, you know, I always like when people ask us to do things, we always like to do um, things out of our comfort zone. So, you know, story reading for me is out of my comfort zone. But I'm that kind of person that uh, when you ask me to do something, you know, Richard Branson has a, a saying, um, do say yes and then figure out how to do it afterwards. So that's me. So Nadine says, I still read to my five year old every night. That's lovely, Nadine. Very, very nice that, you know, even at that age, you can read. Um, Dr. Jailal has logged on. So she is from ABC Pediatrics. And I think I have suggested that she do one because her voice is really lovely. She has two young boys. I'm sure she reads to them all the time as well. And so I nominated her actually to do one of these sessions also with another doctor, Dr. Krishanta, who um, I'm sure Read to Me will be reaching out to. All right, so we have Dr. Ram Ryan finally. I think we have other people requesting to come on with us. I don't know if they want to read as well. Hi. Hi. So this is Dr. Ram Narayan from Dentacare and we have decided um, to say yes to Read to Me Bedtime series. Um, we've seen quite a lot of, 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 
um, pairs doing the series and I found it was very interesting. Every time I looked at it, I just found that everybody had such a unique way of reading the stories. Um, and so well, we hope that we're going to be entertaining. Yes, definitely. Yeah, so great. Um, I think, well, it's 8.04 and I think we have enough people logged on. So I guess we will go ahead and we'll start the official. Oh, that's somebody telling you. Hello, Dr. Amarine from London. Hi. So we're going to start the official session. So um, we hope you're ready for another bedtime story. And today we're going to do um, three chapters out of a, a local book. Um, so first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. So I'm Dr. Sabrina Ramkisun Deonarine, and I am what you call an OBGYN. So I'm going to take it down for the kiddies. And basically what an OBGYN means is that we see, well, I see um, kids. So I see young girls and I start seeing you when you're as young as maybe eight or nine because your pediatrician would usually see you before that time. Um, and then I would see you anywhere up from eight or nine years old all the way through till you reach your mommy's age, your grandmommy's age. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I also deliver babies. And this morning I actually delivered um, a very, very tiny little baby. He was five pounds, six ounces, but he was absolutely adorable. Um, and so that's what I do. I bring babies into the world um, and I see about you and I see about your mommy's health. And so that's, that's mine. So on to Dr. Amarain. Okay, so I am a dentist. And that means that I check your teeth to make sure that they are healthy and that they are strong. We talk about your diet. I know kiddies love a lot of snacks, just like us adults. So we make sure her diet is healthy so that your teeth can be healthy. We check for cavities. We check your gums and make sure that your smile is healthy and bright. So that's basically what I do. And very nice. You give all the candy. You give out candies. I remember when I was went to the dentist, I used to get candies when I was a good girl. No, so, we don't do that anymore. It's so, sad, kiddies. Well, I, I tried for you guys, but Dr. Ramarain is strict about your teeth health. So I guess no candies this time. Oh, we my limit mom is, candies. We limit candies. I, mom, I was telling everybody that you used to read to me and used to do all the characters. And I, was, I remember that. And so that's why we've decided to do this because it takes me back to childhood. Um, right. So kids, we all know for the past few weeks, um, you have had to be indoors with your moms and your dads. You have been away from school. And this is because of what we call the COVID pandemic. So a pandemic just means that a virus which has impacted the whole world has forced all of us to be indoors for our safety, because that's the only way that we can prevent getting the virus. And we are going to be heroes in our own way by staying indoors and doing something that we call flattening the curve. So all that means is that we're trying to reduce the chance that you and your mommies and your daddies and your grannies and your aunties pick up this virus which can really, really cause harm to you and all of them. So tonight we have a great story for you and Sati will tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so tonight we're going to be reading a really great book called Lost. A Caribbean Sea Adventure, and it's by Joanne Hillhouse. It's illustrated by Daniel Budu Fortune, and it's published by Caribbean Reads. This is an excellent story. I hope you guys enjoy this. So, Dr. Yes, let's get started. Okay, so chapter one. So chapter one um, is Meet Dolphin, the Arctic Seal. And my mom has put me on point. So she said she wants to see if, I, if I've learned um, all the or how, to say, how to talk like in the character. So here goes. So Dolphin is an Arctic seal. Other seals call him Dolphin because of his funny looking nose. Beautiful like a bottlenose dolphin, says his Nima. Nima has traveled further than any other seal. She tells of adventures with sea lions in the Dominican Republic, humpback whales in Dominica and bottlenose dolphins near Antigua. Dolphin, the Arctic seal, tries to picture real dolphins swimming and leaping through the water. Unlike real dolphins, Dolphin, the Arctic seal, is not a very good swimmer. Dolphin's friends tease him about his nose, his shallow diving, and his slow swimming. But it is Dolphin's slow swimming that brings him nose to nose with a monster and sends him on his very own Caribbean adventure. Dolphin, the Arctic seal, gets distracted and daydreamy. He sometimes goes swimming with his friends who like to swim further than they should. 
when he goes swimming with his friends, he falls behind thanks to all of his daydreaming. This day is no different, except on this day, there is a ship. It is built like a big, black, shiny monster, coughing black snot. By the time Dolphin sees the ship, it is right there. He races to get out of its way, but it's on his tail. When he turns to see how close it is, it knocks him right on his funny-looking nose. When Dolphin wakes, he has drifted into a new sea. So chapter two, Dolphin makes a new friend. First, Dolphin hears drumming. So I guess that's what we have to do with the antics as well too. Then he hears a strange voice. Hey, you okay? Asks the voice. It sounds musical, keeping time with the drum, 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 drumming. In love. I think the beat is in your head. The voice says a laugh. You talk funny, Dolphin says. You look funny, says the voice. Dolphin opens his eyes. Dolphin, the Arctic seal, blinks. He tries to make sense of what he can see. Whatever it is, it is a small and, th and it's small and thin with a big head and eyes hidden behind long locks. It wiggles and sways as if dancing to the drumming in the dolphin's head. What are you? Dolphin asks. I'm a jellyfish, the strange creature says. What are you? Sorry, we I'm an see. Arctic seal, says Dolphin. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there he is. So the jellyfish laughs. Man, are you a fish out of water? Dolphin scowls. I'm not a fish. I'm a seal. I eat fish, he says. And we are in the water, so that doesn't make any sense. The jellyfish laughs. It's just a saying, so just chill. But Dolphin can't chill. He feels warm, way too warm. Where am I? Dolphin asks. Wherever he is, the water is warm. Warmer than he's used to. And everything is different. So many colors, so much light, so many things he cannot name. Oh, I spy what again. I was trying to show the illustrations. <laughs> Dolphin whirls and twirls, trying to see it all at once. Is that a blue octopus? A seahorse? A lionfish? His Nima told him of places like this, but he thought she had made them up. Dolphin, the Arctic seal, feels a tickle of excitement. You're not from around here, are you? Says the jellyfish. He leans in close. He comes so close, Dolphin can see that his eyes are lined in pink. Where's hair? asks Dolphin. This is the Caribbean, cries the jellyfish. The Caribbean? No, that's too far from home, thinks Dolphin. Dolphin's Nemo will be worried. He wants to cry. An Arctic seal doesn't belong in these unknown warm waters. Hey, it's okay, the jellyfish sings, patting Dolphin's back. Dolphin pulls away. Don't worry, I won't sting, the jellyfish says. My name is Quarrel, after the reefs. I'm Dolphin, says Dolphin. Quarrel frowns. You don't look like any dolphin I've ever seen. You've seen dolphins, asks Dolphin. Plenty, says Quarrel says. No seals, though. My Nana says she hasn't seen a seal in the Caribbean since she was young. But those were Caribbean monk seals, not Arctic. Your Nana? Dolphin asks. Yeah, my grandma. She knows everything. Like my Nima, Dolphin says excitedly. I guess, Coral says with a shrug. Hey, do you want to meet her? And I think that's it. Yeah. Is that oh my gosh, we only had three chapters to do. I really got, I got very into this. I know, I got very into it as well. I thought we had some more. Story's have... been going great so far though. <laughs> The next three um, chapters away from somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, well, I think that that comes to the end. Um, I mean, it was going so good, but we have to leave some other chapters for some other um, fun couples or pairs to do. Um, and I think that this was so interesting. Um, I hope I made my mom proud. Need another story. See, yeah, I know this was so short. I think they need to invite us back. You know, like this everybody. Great. I know this is this is so great. We really hope that all that all of you and your kids thoroughly enjoyed this as much as we did. Um, you know, coming into your homes tonight and reading for you guys was really thrilling for us. And we want to say thanks so much again for joining us for Read to Me's nightly 
bedtime series and we hope you guys had a lot of fun with us tonight yeah and just tips to remember before make sure and stay indoors still we um have to stay indoors until at least september when school might or may or may not start back so just remember stay indoors make sure that you prevent getting the virus from you your mom you know in other words your mom your dad your granny your aunts just make sure that everybody stays safe and uh, we are going to do what we call flattening the curve so that this virus that is affecting the world does not continue back on you yes and just remember everyone that we can do this why because we are in this together yay <laughs> okay guys thank you dr sabrina it was great reading with you Round Rain and thank you read to me this is a wonderful initiative that you have started um we fully support and we just hope that you continue to get all the support that you deserve Okay guys it was great bye bye